Dear Service Provider, this video entails information on how to electronically submit your invoice if you are registered for WebBot upload and tracking. You will first have to refer back to the registration confirmation email and click on the blue link. Once you click on the blue link, the system will automatically take you to the WebBot logon page. On the WebBot logon page, you will then populate your username and your password and click log on. Once you click log on, the system will then automatically take you to the new invoice selection page. On the new invoice selection page, this will only be purely used for tracking the status of your invoice. But for the purposes of this video, we want to upload and submit an invoice using Whiteboard. We then proceed to click the Create Invoice page. On the Create Invoice page, we will select whether the invoice has a purchase order or does not have a purchase order. In this case, the invoice that we want to upload has a purchase order. We therefore proceed to click on the Invoice with Purchase Order Reference. Once we have done that, an option appears where we need to select a purchase order number. We then click on the box. Once you've clicked on the small box, a pop-up appears. You will then populate your purchase order number. Once you've populated the PO number, you will then click Find. Once you click Find, a line below will appear. You will have to double click on the line. Once you've double clicked on the line, the purchase order number will then be populated on the field to select a purchase order number. You will then proceed and click Create Invoice at the bottom. Once you've clicked Create Invoice, this screen appears where your company name will appear on the partner name. On the invoice field, it will state yes. If not, if you have a credit note, you will then click on the drop down arrow and click no. But in this case, because it is an invoice, we leave it at yes. The system will automatically make it an MM because MM documents are invoices with purchase orders. But if ever we had selected that, that the document does not have a purchase order number, it would then be an FI. The currency will automatically be ZAR, and then we'd have to change the document date to match exactly as the invoice. The invoice date on the actual invoice is the 24th of July 2020. We then will have to change the default date on document date and make it the 24th of July 2020. You can either type, because this is a free text bar, or you can click on the calendar. We will then select the 24th of July 2020. We will then also have to populate the bank account number as according to the invoice we are going to upload. The company code will be there as it is automatically derived from the purchase order number. The reference, the reference means the invoice number. Remember, we said that the reference number needs to be exactly as on the image of your invoice. If you are VET registered, you will then populate the VET registration number. You also then need to populate the plant. The plant refers to the entity at which you did business with. In this case, as per our invoice, we did business with the Department of Health, specifically the entity is Bertha Kowa Hospital. We then have to populate the Bertha Kowa Hospital plant. If you know the plant, it's a free text field, you can populate the plant, but if you do not know the plant, you have to click on the box to search. A pop-up appears, you click Find. 
you then need to scroll down the various entities until you find the particular entity you're looking for. Bethatoa is also known as Gemiston Hospital. So once you have found the particular entity you're looking for, you just have to double click that line to select it. Alternatively, you can go to the search term two field or search term one field and type the entity you're looking for and put an asterisk and then click find. If you don't get it on term two, you can alternatively put it on term one and click find. This will help you minimize the long search and you will see that few options will then pop up. You will then proceed and put the net amount and the gross amount. And if you do have a VET amount, you will populate the VET amount. In this case, because we are not VET registered, there is no VET amount. Once you've populated every information, you will then click Save at the bottom. Once you have clicked the Save button at the bottom, the system will automatically detail this information. You will then click Detail View. Once you have clicked Detail View, the system will then take you to this screen. On this screen, it will then give you the details that you have just populated. It further on gives you a status that this invoice is in process, but you still need to complete the process. You then click add invoice image at the bottom, not add attachment, but add invoice image. A pop-up then appears where you need to browse, search, and select the particular invoice pertaining the information you have just populated. You will then click open. After clicking open, you will then click send. The screen then will then say document successfully uploaded. You will then click close. After clicking close, you will then go to the bottom of the screen and click the create button. After clicking the Create button, the system will state in red at the top of the screen, Start possible only if the first steps have been completed. Once you receive that message, then you will know that you have successfully uploaded your invoice on Webboard. Thank you for watching this video.